because I wanted to look at their like fall candles and decor. I feel like they always have the best stuff for every season. And I'm so happy with what I got, so I wanna show you guys. Got this huge knit blanket. I've always wanted one of their knit blankets. They're super thick and soft and just like comfortable. So soft, like perfect for like the colder months. It's still a little hot out there. And then I wanted to get a fall candle because the Anther ones always smell so good. And I ended up getting this one. This is the pumpkin and sweet vanilla scent. I really, really love it. It's like brown and gold and it has these beautiful little flowers like hand painted on it. And I thought it would be perfect for my nightstand. And I think it just like goes together well. So that's all I got from Anthro. Just so excited for fall and i wanted to get a couple of things that will just get me more in the spirit i leave for new york next wednesday and it's currently friday so i have a few more days at home i want to get my room like all nice and cozy so that when i come back it's like all festive and cute <laughs> up to the nail salon i'm about to get my nails fixed i didn't get these that long ago i got them like a couple days before in a seams wedding but my thumb like already chipped which is really annoying so i'm at a different spot today and i want to get red nails for new york i'm like obsessed with red and it's funny because every time that i'm in new york like the past like three times i've been in new york i've had red nails so they don't look bad this side is like perfectly fine i'm gonna get a different color and then i'm gonna do toe polish Just got out of the nail salon and here are my nails i got the color winter wine by dnd i believe i love it i think it's gonna be perfect for new york <laughs> finished putting away some laundry and I am starting to pack for New York. I brought my clothing rack that's normally in my office um, into my bedroom just because I'm going to pack my stuff in here and I need to see clearly like what outfits I have for each day. So excited for each of my looks. This is my first New York Fashion Week and I was a little bit nervous at first because I know so many people have like stylists for these things but honestly I just like trust myself and I put a lot of work into my outfits for this trip and I'm really excited and happy about it and I just can't wait for you guys to all see them. Honestly, it's going to be really hot. I think New York is getting like one last heat wave before fall so these are like nice cashmere pieces so I'm not going to bring them. But I have a couple pieces here that I'm going to bring. This dress is from Halsa. It is very beautiful. It's a little bit big on me. So I'm going to see if I can take it to the alterations on Tuesday to see if they can do something last minute just on the waist. I feel like that's the only part that really needs to be adjusted. And I'm praying that it's an easy fix. If not, whatever, I'll figure it out. I have this very fun skirt for one of my nighttime looks. I'm going to pair it with a black blazer and just like a white tank. And then I just got some heels from Nordstrom Rack that I got to go with this outfit. And then I just also realized I didn't have like any black heels. So it's very out of my comfort zone, but I feel like it's very fun. And for fashion week, I just, I didn't want to be boring. So I got this skirt and I'm obsessed with it. This might be one of my favorite dresses of all time. I ordered it off of Reformation and I've been obsessed with Reformation lately, but my favorite part about this dress are these like vintage looking gold and black buttons. I think it is so stunning. It goes full length and then it kind of flows out a little bit cinched at the waist and then the model on the website had the bottom buttons open but if you dress modestly you can close all the buttons down and i'm planning on wearing these with black boots this is also the dress i showed in my last vlog from the real real i really like it because the material is super thin and I don't think I'll be too hot in it. Thinking I'm gonna bring this um, Etern 
knit dress. It's like full maxi and I could just wear it with like sombers or something if I wanted something casual. I think it's gonna rain one of the days and I feel like when it's raining, it's like who feels like putting on such a nice outfit for that. And I use so many packing cubes. I recently bought a new set from Amazon in all black. It's such a game changer for packing. They make your life so much easier. I swear if you're not on the packing cube game, like what are you doing? So I will link the packing cubes um, that I have in the description. And then I get a lot of questions about these cosmetic bags as well. This pink bag is from Love Shack Fancy. I don't put like makeup or anything in there just because it was a little bit expensive and I don't want it to get ruined. It's like a fabric-y material, which is super beautiful. And then these two I actually got from an Etsy designer. I think her handle is called Hard Rock and Roll or like Rock and Roll Gypsies, one of those. I will write it here on the screen, but I really, really liked it. And she like makes it custom to what you want. It takes like six weeks or so to ship, but these are like my go-to toiletry bags. And then I have some duster bags for like my um, purses and stuff, like random hair ties. I only ever use like these slip scrunchies for my hair. They're really gentle and they like don't cause breakage, which is so nice. And then I just have like my white Skims pajamas that I wear in like every vlog. And then these are also Skims. This is like the Skims boyfriend long sleeve. I like to sleep in these. And then I have the tight um, Skims like fits everybody tee. And then these are little like boyfriend um, shorts from Skims and I get them in I think a size medium um, just so they're like a little bit more oversized and then they're like super duper comfy to sleep in. So I'm just gonna set my camera up and start packing and we'll see how far we get tonight. I've made some good progress. I have my handbags that I'm going to bring in these little duster bags so they don't get damaged on the way there. And then in here I have like pajamas, sleep clothes, all of that. In here I have hot tools and like my Dyson Airwrap, pair of heels in here, and then my Adidas Samba sneakers here. Without another load of laundry, so I'm gonna fold that right now, put it away, and then see what else I still have to pack. Dinner tonight we have a whole spread. My parents are making kebabs and my mom roasted a bunch of veggies and she just made this salad. So what's in the dressing? Pomegranate juice, olive oil, lemon juice, orange juice, mint, sumac, salt, garlic, and that's it. And your Brussels sprouts, rice, sweet potatoes, yams, roasted yams. We have all the kebabs out here. Chicken kebab, tomato. Corn. We've got corn on the cob. We're eating outside because the weather is so nice. And this is my last dinner with my sister and my brother-in-law for a little bit. They just got back from their honeymoon last night. So we're having like a big family dinner like I showed you guys earlier. This is the finished salad. We added in the dressing, corn on the cob, tomato. My dad's working on the kebab. Oh my God, those look so good. <clears throat> Nassim just got a cookbook. She's doing a show this and tell. This is my aesthetic. How do I achieve cottage core? If you see Nassim's TikTok, it's literally all just like baking. Recipes to come and like Taylor Swift. And Nassim's like the best baker. Ooh, like a She's frittata. like a British, what is that one show? Bra Great British, British, British baking show. Look nourished. Some thoughts on unconditional love and recipes for the family. It was just so cute. I had to Oh my God, I love this cute. aesthetic. I love this table and that cup of coffee. Oh my it's the vibe. And she got a cute one mug. Ooh. Oh it my God, reminds, I saw this the other day when I was at It just reminds me of the kind of mug you would get from like an old antique shop. It's so cute. Little, I was literally, I had board. that in my hand when I was checking out at Anthro the other day and I was like, wait, let me like not spend so much money on like I know, it was randomly like with the other stuff. For a mug, but it's I'm so just like cute. a sucker for a mug, you know? It's I so have too cute. many I, I didn't get it because I was like, I don't have a house yet. So like, why would I get that? But I don't have room for this it. mug, but I bought it anyway. <laughs> you guys it's been a little minute since i have picked up the camera now 4 20 on tuesday september 5th i leave for new york tomorrow i've had a really busy day like go 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 so i haven't had a chance to like whip out the camera and update you guys now i'm about to get ready for date night Mustafa and i are going to go on our last date night before i leave for new york tomorrow I have a bunch of stuff that i got from sephora 
to show you guys. I picked up a bunch of new products that I just like needed to restock and stuff I wanted to get my hands on for a while because I'm gonna be doing my makeup like every day when I'm in New York and I want it to look really good. So I also had a really exciting call with Minted and I'm so excited because I'm working with them for a couple months on my wedding invitations and save the dates and my wedding website, which is so exciting, like genuinely such a dream come true. We had a meeting this morning to go over um, a couple of my questions and just like get the process rolling now that I have like more clarity on my end. I had this in the works for so long, but I just genuinely didn't know what was happening with like a lot of the wedding stuff for me to be able to like move forward with sending um, any type of invites or anything like that. So basically we're gonna be doing custom save the dates and invitations and I have like a whole mood board and a specific illustration that I want. Nice because Minted has like an entire design team um, and a concierge team that handles like the websites but they can like really bring your vision to life. I'm super excited about it. So the call went really well. They are like able to basically do like any type of illustration that I want. And then also for the invitations, we wanna have some like Arabic writing. Um, and they're like, as long as you provide us the exact text that you want, happy to incorporate that. So that was really nice. Started to ask our guests for like um, their addresses and stuff because it's all gonna be like mailed out. And then the design turnaround, he said, is about four weeks. So I think we're anticipating to send everything in like October, inshallah. If you guys remember, we did a photo shoot. Um, I think it was in May. Yeah, we did a photo shoot in May um, for our anniversary photos. And we took those pictures because we wanted some extra photos for our wedding website. So it's gonna be really fun to like actually put those photos to good use and make a website with all of our like favorite photos. This album on my phone that I've been saving like a lot of the photos that I would wanna use for my wedding website on there. This is from our trip to Turkey back in March when we were like first looking at venues. I think it's cute because it's like very Istanbul. Photos from our Nikah day. This is like moments before we we walked out and we were at the mosque and I was so nervous. These are the pictures from our photo shoot. They're all on my Instagram and I would definitely want to put them on the website. I'm really excited to get that process started with them and bring you guys along for the whole thing. I want to give you guys a quick packing update because I'm pretty much almost done. This is my suitcase so far. I have like everything. This is the outfit I'm going to wear to the airport tomorrow. It's just this like Aritzia crew neck and then this long sleeve top from Skims. I wear these all the time. And then I still have like a few last minute things I need to like pack up in my carry-on, of course. I went to CVS and just got a couple things that I needed for the trip. I got this little teaser brush. I got a mini hairbrush. I always use the wet brushes. I got this like mini travel set and I'm gonna put some of my like hair styling products like my color wow shine spray there's like a spray bottle in here that i need to use it i'm wanting to try these little like star face pimple patches so i'm just gonna pack those in case like i get a breakout or something in new york okay makeup is all done i used a bunch of new makeup products that i got from sephora i got this blush for the first time and i put it on the back of my hand it's so insanely pigmented i had to like sit there and like aggressively blend my face and use my beauty blender just to like blur it out a little bit because it literally looked like i got slapped in the face like i actually looked like a clown at first but i think the final color is really pretty I always use a powder blush on top of my cream blushes and i love the milani um, powder blushes that you can get at the drugstore. They're super affordable and they're honestly like some of my favorites I've been using them since high school the shade Dolce pink. This was the blush combo for today I set my face with the Laura Mercier powder and the Charlotte Tilbury one. It's now 620 It took me like an hour to do my makeup and to pick out an outfit I honestly don't really know what to wear because it's been so hot in San Diego and like humid But I want to look cute, but I feel like I packed like so many of my cute outfits already so I think I'm gonna go for like a simple, cute and casual look tonight. some invitations for minted and they sent over the design form spending the past hour like just on pinterest trying to get a better like idea of everything and it's just funny because i feel like no one really thinks about like the details of their invitations like you might think about a color of your wedding or 
just like the style and the vibe you want but then when it gets really technical with like what kind of paper do you want like do you want foil do you want cotton do you want lace do you want a ribbon do you want a wax seal like it just gets so technical i'm just trying to figure out if i like like black and white or if i want to incorporate a color like asking the hubby for his opinion on a lot of these things and what would you say if you're like you're like all of them look good basically yeah it's like hard because it's all it's so i don't know there's so many options and on pinterest it's nice because you get to see what other people have done but at the same time it's like you want something unique and that's like feel like you light leaves from san diego at like 1 p.m i think and it's now 9 37 so i think we're gonna try and leave at like 11 11 15 we are off to go i'm gonna edit this vlog and get this packing vlog up by tomorrow